Welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne and today we're going to be crocheting this gorgeous rainbow scarf. This video is designed to go along with the written pattern that can be found on my blog so I'll post a link to the blog post below in the description box. I'll also add a list of the materials and stitches we'll be using down below as well. So let's get started on this gorgeous scarf. We're going to begin with red yarn and we're going to create a slip knot for our hook. I'm going to be chaining 13 chain stitches because I'm only doing a small swatch of this pattern to give you the instructions, but you're going to chain 201 chain stitches. So here we are after we finished our base chain row. So you should have 201 chain stitches. You're going to half double crochet into the second chain from your hook. And then half double crochet in each stitch all the way down. So you should have 200 half double crochet stitches on row one. And I'm going to have 12 here. At the end of each row, we're going to chain one and then turn the work around. For row two, we're going to half double crochet into the back loop only in each stitch across. So the loop closest to you is the front loop and the loop on the back side is the back loop. So we're going to half double crochet into the back loop only all the way across until we've completed 200 half double crochet. The half double crochet into the back loop only gives it that nice ridged texture and I am in love with the way that these stitches turn out. It's probably one of my favorite stitch combinations. So on the last stitch of row two, we're going to be switching colors. So you're going to yarn over, insert the hook into that last back loop, and you'll have three loops on your hook. And we're going to pull through those last three loops with our next color, which is going to be orange. We'll pull tight down on both of those loose ends, and orange will become our working yarn. We'll chain one and turn the work around to continue working with orange. So rows three and four, we're going to half double crochet in the back loop only with orange yarn until we've completed 200 half double crochet in each row. So here we are beginning row four, half double crocheting in that back loop only. And this gives you an idea of how the rest of this pattern is going to work. We're gonna have two rows of half double crochet in the back loop only for each color. So at the end of orange, on that last stitch, we're gonna switch to yellow. So here I have one stitch left yarn over, insert, and pull up a loop. So we've got three loops on the hook, and we're gonna pull through all three of those loops with yellow. We're gonna pull tight on both of those loose ends, and yellow becomes our working yarn. So we're gonna chain one and turn. At the end of each color change, you can go ahead and tie off so that you're not carrying a whole bunch of tails. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie off with red and orange. 
I'm going to trim a long enough tail that we can use it to create the seam at the end of this project or a long enough tail to weave in if you're not going to make an infinity scarf. And I'm just going to tie the tails together so that nothing comes unraveled. So now we only have one color of yarn attached to our project, which makes it a lot easier to continue crocheting. So now that we're working with yellow, we're going to place one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across until we have 200 half double crochet. And we'll do two rows of yellow and continue proceeding to change colors at the end of the second row. After yellow, we'll be doing green, then blue, and then purple, and I'll catch you back after we've completed two rows each of each color and show you how we're going to seam up this project. How gorgeous is this color palette? Here we are at the end of our last row, which is row 12. We're going to chain one after that last half double crochet. So here's our last stitch of row 12, chain one. And we're gonna tie off with a long enough tail as we have been prior, and we'll pull through that chain one stitch to secure. I just love the ridges that this back loop half double crochet makes. It gives this pattern such a gorgeous texture you can see we've got all of the tails on one side except for that original beginning tail and this is what we'll use to decide to either make an infinity scarf or a traditional scarf. If you want a traditional scarf that's not attached into a circle, you can go ahead and weave in all of these loose ends and that will be the end of our project. I prefer infinity scarves so I'm going to show you how to attach the tail end to the other end using all of these rainbow tails. So you're going to line up your scarf into a circle making sure that it's not twisted. And you can choose which side you want to be the front or the back side of the seam. It doesn't really matter which you choose. And we'll get our tapestry needle and begin stitching up the ends. So we're going to line these up perfectly together. and thread the longer of the two tails onto our tapestry needle. I'm going to be using mostly a whip stitch to attach these together. So you're gonna go over, through both sides, and then pull through, and continue to go over through both sides and pull through until it is nice and secure. You could also do just a straight back and forth stitch if you're not a fan of the whip stitch. We just want to pay really close attention to the top and the bottom of this seam to make sure that they're not going to pull apart when you're wearing the scarf. We want this to be beautiful but also very functional. Throughout this seam, I flip it over to the other side to make sure that it's lining up and looking correctly on both sides. So our red is looking nice and attached on both sides. So now we're going to weave that loose end in. So we're going to run the tail through a handful of stitches in one direction. Maybe four or five. Thank you. 
and then we'll turn skipping one stitch and run it back through those same stitches. You could do it one more time if you want it to be extra secure. And then we're going to snip off that loose end. And then I'm just going to weave in the second red tail from the beginning of the project. And move on to our orange tail, attaching it with the whip stitch that we used in the prior color, making sure everything's lined up nice and evenly. Going over through both sides, pull it tight. And we're going to continue to do this for each color all the way across. At the end of the join, we're going to tie a tiny little knot and weave in those ends, trimming off any of the excess yarn. Here we are with our completed seam. It's looking nice and seamless. The back side of the seam should look something like this. You can't really tell where the seam was and I like to put the seam against the back of my neck before I twist and wrap around the rest of the infinity scarf. I hope you enjoyed creating with me today. I love how this project turned out. Give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you very soon with a new project. Thanks for watching.